everyone, Brother Repair. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 3. Uh, kind of hope you get all that I wrote down in my Bible. So, anyway, verse 3, if you're my subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Honored, privileged. Uh, if you like these little Bible studies, uh, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. So, uh, book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 3. I'll read it to you. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles. And they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Now, it's uh, Paul and Barnabas being sent by the congregation in Anatoke to hash out whether the Gentiles uh, need to be Jews or whether they need to be Christians. Um, the Judaizers or sometimes they're called Ebionites or the Messianic Pharisees which is a wasn't well, a good name for them. So, so. Uh, one of the Gentiles who were Coming in the church because of Paul and Barnabas' preaching, one of them to become Jews and get uh, uh, circumcised and all that. Um, you know, circumcision as a baby is not too big of a deal, but uh, it's a bigger deal when you're an adult. It's more serious separation, and uh, uh, you know they didn't have the. Um, painkillers they have today so you know they're they're asking a lot for these guys and um uh, paul and martin's saying hey you know these gentiles they're not jews they're gentiles they believe in christ as messiah but they're not gentiles anyway if you read my bible it's kind of faint there says uh the critical question at the jerusalem conference was whether circumcision in obedience to the law of moses was required for salvation in christ the representatives meeting there concluded that Gentiles were saved through the agape, the grace, agape grace of the Lord Jesus, who forgave them of sin and made them a new creation. So, excuse me if I'm moving around here. Um, so, and uh, Luke writes, and they brought on their way at by the church, church paying their way, giving provisions, um, probably prayed for them, the Christian brethren are in Anatoke. It was customary for the Christians to attend the apostles on their travels, so they had company uh, through Phoenice, uh, that's Phoenicia, uh, which today is Lebanon. Uh, today it's called the country of Lebanon. And Samaria, that's the middle part of Israel today, the West Bank, actually. If you're looking at Israel today, a map, it's it's the West Bank area, Samaria. Uh, these places were directly in the route to Jerusalem, uh, declaring, and they went declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, of the Gentiles in Anatoke and the regions of Asia Minor through which they had traveled. Uh, these remarkable events that they would naturally communicate with joy to the Christians with whom they had uh, intercourse on their journey. So they're, as they go along, they're saying, hey, the Gentiles are flooding in the church. He -he. And they had caused great joy, great joy uh, at the news of the extensive spread of the gospel. So their great joy that the gospel, I'm really sliding down, ain't I? The great joy that the gospel was spreading from Jews, our former Jews, uh, to Gentiles. Gentiles that had no experience with the Jewish religion. So, caused great joy. Um, it can go either way. Great joy or great hatred or dis distrust. But, no, it went to uh, great joy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um. It was an indication of their deep feeling of, in their interest of the religion that they had 
thus rejoiced, where Christians are themselves awake and engaged in the services of Christ, they rejoice at the news of the conversion of sinners. Uh, where they are cold, they hear such news with indifference or with the utmost unconcern. Uh, one way of testing our feelings on the subject of religion is by the emotions which we have when we hear the extensive and glorious revivals of religion. So... Uh, great news. Uh, Gentiles were flooding in the church thanks to Paul and Barnabas, and uh, they went through modern-day Lebanon and modern-day Samaria, which is uh, the West Bank, and uh, people rejoiced. The, the, the average Christian new convert rejoiced. And so they are on their way to Jerusalem to have a conference. Um to hash it all out and to uh, get some guidelines as to what new converts are going to be required of and uh, what basically what it's going to take to be a Christian. So that's coming up. Chapter, uh, verse 4 is coming up. Thank you. God bless you.